Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to be telling you just a little bit about my crafty goals for 2020 including a collaboration that I'm going to be participating in the tracker that I'll be using for a visual representation and then I'm going to let you know how you can download the file for free if you would like to join me in that. I hope you'll stick around and find out more. Thank you so much for joining me today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and maybe even tap on that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. I was able to get pretty crafty in 2019, whether it was with my sheet load of cards, whether it was paper pumpkin alternatives, or just other collaborations and card making videos in general, I did do quite a bit here. But this year I want to be more intentional with my focus and what I'm going to do each month. One of the ways that I'm going to do that is I have decided to join Amalia's Crafty Goals collab and challenge here on YouTube. I'll be back on January 11th to tell you more about that and to give you my goals specifically. And then we'll be back every month to update you with how we're doing. If you're interested in joining the collaboration, make sure to check out Amalia's video. I do have it linked below and I will link it in a card at the end of this video. The second way that I'm going to keep track of my craftiness this year is through a more visual representation of it. Over the past couple days, I have spent some time creating myself a crafty tracker. At the bottom, I have put different things that I want to do, whether it's send a card to a family member, um, share my sheet load file here on YouTube, leave love on a blog. And I have a color for each of these items that when I complete one, I will be filling in a hexagon up here and then I hope by the end of this month that I'll have a very pretty piece of artwork at the top. I know it won't really make a picture but I think seeing how far I'm getting each month and having the fun colors will encourage me to keep up with this. If this sounds interesting to you make sure to keep watching I'm going to tell you how you can download a similar file for free. But before that I'll kind of tell you how I set it up. So I already knew what I wanted my goals to be. So I did pre-type those like I said. And then what I did is I just grabbed out some colored pencils that I had. These are not anything fancy and that's why I chose these so I can just keep them separate. I chose 20 colors because that's how many items I have down here. The next thing I did was put a number on each one of these pencils. Like this is number six. That means that when I send a card to a family member, I will color in a hexagon with this color. All I did was just make this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on until I got up to 20. To get the number on the pencil, I just used a fine line Sharpie marker. I wrote my number on there. And then I used a little piece of scotch tape to cover that up. That way the wear and tear will not wear the number off and I can use these all year long. And keep in mind if you want to do something similar, don't write your number down here because you might sharpen it off as the year goes on. I will be keeping these separated from the rest of my colored pencils. I just got out a hair tie that I had that I will band these together and just keep separate so when I'm ready to update my chart they'll be right there and ready to go. I did make another tracker for myself when I made this and it is here behind this just kind of peeking out. I will be sharing lots more about that on my video on the 11th. Now if this sounds interesting to you and you would like to join me in your visual crafty tracking, I have created a free file for my subscribers. This PDF file is 13 pages. The first page is just a my 2020 craft tracker. So if you don't think that you'll be getting as crafty or you have fewer goals, you could just use this for the whole year, make your key with your colors and color in a box each time you're ready. Or if you're interested in tracking on more of a monthly basis like me, the other 12 pages in the file have the months at the top. I just printed out a few here so you could see that. If you do happen to play along with me and you post anything on YouTube or on Instagram, I do have a hashtag up here that I would love for you to use. It is hashtag CMCA2020. 
2020 crafty tracker. Now, if you do post on Instagram, I would love it if you would tag me. I am at call me crafty out. If this does sound interesting to you and you want the file, here's what I ask. Please like this video and be a subscriber to my channel. Now, I don't have time to go and follow up on every request for a file that you're a subscriber, so we're just gonna go on the honor system here. If you do download the file, please make sure you're a subscriber to my channel. A link to the file can be found all the way at the bottom of my description box. All you have to do is click on that and then you can open the file and print it for yourself. If you enjoyed this video or you're excited to join me in my crafty tracking this year, I hope that you'll give it a thumbs up. Until my next video, I hope you're having a crafty day. Bye-bye.